Assalamualaikum, hi friends. Today I'm gonna tell you the story of the lion and the mouse. Okay, let's start. One day, the king of the forest, the mighty lion, was sleeping in his den. His head was resting in his massive paws. A little mouse was playing nearby. The cave was huge and dark, and one that could only hear the lion's snore. Seeing the lion was sleeping, the mouse wondered how the king's den looked like. So, he quietly crawled inside the cave while the lion was asleep. But suddenly, the mouse tripped into the lion's nose, waking him up from his sleep. Seeing the mouse, the lion got very angry and pinched the mouse down with his paws. He roared, Roar, you little mouse! How dare you wake me up from my sleep? I will kill you today! The mouse afraid back before the lion. Please don't kill me, Roar. If you let me go, someday I will repay you for your kindness. I will do my best to help you. The lion got amused with the thought of a little mouse, helping the king of all beasts. He said, a tiny mouse like you can help a lion? I suppose you to know I am the king of the jungle. How can you help me? Ha 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 ha. Please, my lord. The lion pitied the mouse and let him go. One beautiful day, the lion went out for a walk in the jungle. He kept strolling down looking for some animal to hunt. Where is the animal? But suddenly, the lion got trapped in a hunter's net. He could not escape. He roared and roared all day asking for help. Roar! Someone help me! Roar! Someone help me please! But there was no one to help him, to save him. And at last, he became helpless and sad thinking that he was about to die. Suddenly, the mouse who is left he had once safe found him in this pitiful condition. My lord, don't worry anymore! I will rescue you from this net! You had once saved my life! Today, I will save yours! The mouse said and began to gnawing at the net with its sharp teeth. Nom 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 nom. Thus, he freed the lion from the hunter's net. Ever since then, the lion and the mouse became the best of friends. Okay, now I will tell you the moral of the story. The lion, a big mighty creature, thought that a tiny mouse couldn't be any help of him. But life surprises us every day. This mouse. Though small, did indeed come to help. So the moral of the story is, whoever it be, whatever size, we should help each other. And these kind deeds always get rewarded. Being helpful to each other is the most significant virtue. And everyone is unique in their own way. Okay, so that's the story and the moral story of the lion and the mouse.